I really just didn't have any confidence and um, no sense of purpose. I was just print, painting whatever I thought was pretty here and there, and there was no focus at all. It's completely different. I, um, I'm getting up, okay, I'm a school teacher. So right. I'm, yeah. I'm work at 7 a.m., um, but I'm getting up at 4.30 in the wow. morning. Oh, I'm so impressed. I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. And I'm organizing an art show. I was so, um, you know, inspired by Khadija. And um, so I, you know, I really have something to say now. And um, I, it used to be um, getting up for my job. I had to just drag myself out of bed and, you know, it was this burden. And now um, I really want to get up and work on my art. And I want to do it first thing in the morning. And I feel like I, I, I'm I getting my most important things done first thing. And that's changed my life. I, you know, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I have to tell you this one girl who, her smarter goal was to make three new friends by the end of the school year. Oh. And she cried. Um, she teared up when she shared it because she's really lonely and she doesn't know how to make friends. So we're working on that with her this year. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's the word, you know, a lot of, you know, what a lot of people, people are lonely, you know, like not just little girls who have learning disability or challenges. Yeah. This is a lonely planet. And this is one of the reasons why I designed the study partner program the way I did. You're not, you, you have to meet on a video call so you can see each other's face. Right. And you have to dig deep with one another. And I also tell everyone, hey, if you meet with someone, you don't want to meet with them again. No, I don't care. I just want you to make friends. Mm -hmm. Because that's what life's all about. Even if you have a supportive family and friends, and not all artists do, by the way, they don't understand what it's like. Mm -hmm. And this community, they do understand what it's like to be an artist who wants to sell, who wants to be recognized, who wants to contribute, who wants to sell their art. What I teach artists is how to uh, crack the four part code. And what that means is that's how you can determine who your niche is for your art. And that the four part code is real simple. You understand your why, which is who you are, what you stand for, and what you stand against. It has everything to do with you. It's got nothing to do with your art. Then from that, you can understand what your mission is. What's the one problem you believe is really worth solving? It's got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to do with your art. Is that everything to do with the way you can be of service? And then through the prototype project, you can experiment with your how, how are you gonna solve that problem using your art and or your other resources, and who has that problem that's worth solving your target market. So that's the four part code. And you don't crack it all at once. So you'll notice students will get real frustrated because they haven't cracked it all at once. Well, nobody damn well cracks it all at once. I mean, some people do. But you just, the most important part is the why. Gosh, I guess it, it just makes everything so clear. Um, you know, and it's helping me come out, um, be more of myself. Actually, my why is all about um, being true to myself. I can only be happy if I'm true to myself. So right. I am, you know, I'm, I look at how am I being true to myself? I can't. Um, and so now I can clearly make choices. I can set boundaries. Um, and, and you know, no one's ever perfect, but it's a, uh, you know, it's kind of like a guiding principle I can live by now. And, uh, That's awesome. and it's definitely, you know, helps me as a teacher for sure. You know, right, right. And so, wow, well, that's a pretty big one. That's inspiring. I have to say, like this is one of the one of the things that's really 
been very enriching for me is my students share, you know, during our one-on-one, -on -one, they share their whys and they share how they arrived at their whys and we take a look at their four-part code and it's so inspiring. Like it is like, I get the, I get, I gain the benefit of all of my students' life lessons and it's pretty, it's, there's no self-help program. There's no, there's no, there's no, there, you can't, you can't get that. It's amazing. You guys are so wise. When you do the process, you're so wise. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that the, uh, the code to joy exercises, I do it twice a day. Awesome. It, it really is. Um, you know, I really see this emotional, the emotional stuff is where I get hung up. Where everybody gets hung up. Yeah. And, um, you know, just moving past my fear, moving past, uh, you know, the fear's not going away. No. I can deal with it now. Well, it's about progress. It's not about perfection because perfection doesn't exist. And pursuing perfection is a very, it's a train wreck. It's just very stifling because it's an impossible and punishing standard. But by making progress. And the thing about emotion is, if two, you know, it's, there's two sides to that coin. It can limit you if it's fear or anxiety or hurt but you can flip it and then you can gain energy and ex and you obviously have the energy if you get up at 4 30 in the morning it's changed something in you yes the clarity i've gained i'm i, I used to think i had to be like someone else in order to sell my work in order to be a real artist yeah. I to change into someone else someone who's more outgoing um, yeah, anyway <laughs> more that more whatever which is a very judgmental stance and um so yeah you know let me tell you so the co-founder of creative live craig swanson um he and i uh would meet occasionally and one of the things he said to me was really, really powerful. And, you know, he built that company from scratch, right? And it's pretty huge. And, but one of the things he told me was the two most disempowering things you can do, or that he, in, in his view, is number one, compare yourself to other people, because you're always going to find somebody better and more accomplished or whatever. And then the second thing you can do is not be present and not just appreciate where you are right now and all you've accomplished already. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really powerful advice. And I think it's true. Yeah, so what you just said is really significant. And if you read Russell Simmons' Do You, it, it expands on this deep understanding that if you're going to try to be like another artist, it's going to be a train wreck. It's, it's never going to work out because it has to come from you, your heart and your soul to have any significance, to have any meaning to you or to other people. So there isn't anyone else you can be. So what you want to do is dig deep and be your true authentic self. And if you're not sure the mechanics of how, well, how do I do that? I, you know, read his book and uh, apply to enroll in the making art, making money semester. And we'll walk you through that process. If someone was sitting on the fence and they weren't so sure about applying to enroll in the Making Art, Making Money semester, what would you what would you honestly tell them? I would say it's the best training for an artist who wants to sell their work. It really is. I um, there's nothing like this out there. This it, it you you've got to dig deep and find out who you are got to do the work um, but um, there's nothing else like this awesome. <laughs> have you and how how has it been connecting with study partners are they um, because most artist communities have a lot of jealousy and competition um, what's the community been like for you in the making art making money semester 
It's been wonderful. Um, you know, there are some people I connect with more strongly, and I think it's always the case. Um, it's just a feeling that we're all in this together, and no one seems to hold back with help or assistance. You know, you you can just post a question or call someone up, and they, you know. It's been, it, that's one of the biggest reasons I joined because I, you know, I live in a small town. There's no one here. Actually, it's a university town, so that's even worse. There are professors who think they know the art world. Um, I know. <laughs> and I guess that you know the competitive art world, but that's not a, a part of what I want to participate in. Right, right. And you don't need to. That's the good news, right? Yes. You don't need to. Why? Why do it? Let you know what. Let them have at it. In the meantime, in the meantime, um, you know you can enjoy the community. You can make significant progress not only in selling your art but in your life. 